Hi, this is Yvonne, and we're back with Relatively Speaking. This is our Valentine's Day edition, and we have three nice guys here this evening. These, these guys are so nice to come out and join us for this Valentine's Day edition. Uh, did your wives put any pressure on you to do this? No pressure. No, no whatsoever. No. I said yes, ma'am. We, yeah. we put pressure on them. And you put pressure on them. Okay. Well, very good then. Well, uh, first of all, I'm going to let everybody know what the score is. Okay. Do you have to? Can <laughs> bring it up? Uh, I'll just say somebody has 10. <laughs> I won't say who. <laughs> the Lanhams have 15. And the Walls family has 25. So, I'm not going to say who that is with the 10. But it's whoever, a lot of room for improvement. <laughs> but whoever they are, <laughs> it would be a, you know, a, lot of yeah, a lot of potential. A lot of potential. So, here we go. We're going to go with our first question. What is your mother-in-law's maiden name? A mother-in-law's maiden name? Mm-hmm. Sound like I'm applying for a credit card. Can <laughs> <laughs> okay. I cheat off you, David? <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> that was number one. Number two. Where were you when you first said, I love you to your spouse? Oh, <laughs> oh dear oh, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Why on the spot like that? Yeah. Uh, this is Valentine's Day. You know, Valentine's Day is coming up. Our special. Wow. Wait a minute. I mean, I got to stop. I got to go back a whole lot further than these guys. <laughs> yeah, but they say that the older you are, the more you can remember right, the further. Going to the next one. What's the next question? Well, you know, if you don't know the answer to that one, just put what you think she might say. Because that's the whole yeah. idea. So repeat the question. Okay. Where were you? Number two. Where were you when you first said, I love you to your spouse? We said this to her, right? Yes. Can I copy off you, uh, Charlie? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, that's a tough one. <laughs> when you in first the car. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I put down. <laughs> in the back of a SWAT? No, it, it wasn't in the back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know where it happened to be parked, but <laughs> I'm sure that was a sight. <laughs> Number two is, I where were you when you first said, I love you, to your spouse? Whoa. Where were you? Okay. Number three. Well, we spelled it right. Okay. That's pretty good. That's pretty close. Question number three. What was the last piece of lingerie you bought for your spouse? Ah. I got this one. I got this one. <laughs> the last piece of lingerie you bought for Gosh, your spouse. Just the other day. <laughs> <laughs> Number three. What was the last piece of lingerie you bought for your spouse? I don't know what terminology you use. <laughs> I know that terminology. What about you? <laughs> huh? Okay. Number four. This is going to get us in trouble. <laughs> Number four. Oh, win. What would your spouse say is the type of plastic surgery she would like to have? Hmm. You know, it's pretty popular now. We got these makeover shows on Man, TV I can't and say all that. that. What would she like to have done? I don't know how to spell it, but that'll get it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I had to write down the same misspelling as you did. <laughs> what is the same? What is the type of plastic surgery your life would like? Your wife would like to have. Oh, I, I know. I got this. Hold on. <laughs> would she like to have something lifted? Would she like did, to have something uh, lowered? Do we have to say what she wants to have lifted? <laughs> that, four, that was four. Away. That was four. Man, oh man, this is going to be trouble. This okay. kind of person. What would she like know, to have lifted? Of... She gives us the the, the one yeah. that we can get hung on. That's right. <laughs> you know. Ah, uh, stop your whining. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, this one's really going to get you into trouble. This is number five. Number five. Ten points, David. Uh. Okay. Um, what is the sexiest part of your wife's body? 
<laughs> I've been eating said what not's the sexiest. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna have to stick with I've always been a <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. Okay. Except I'm gonna be better than you all. You're gonna spell it right, huh? Yep. Okay. All right. He's gonna get technical on us. All right. Six. We got six. We'll him... Now that was it. All right. That was it. Oh, right. like a big, yeah. uh, that was big heavy duty one that we're gonna have to do. The... Okay. I'm sorry. I thought you were gonna have one that you did. We that was it. All of that was it. Yes. We catch up now. We catch up this. You'll time. catch up, David. I'm sure you will. Okay. I t you guys sit tight here. We're going to take a break, and when we come back, we're going to have the ladies back with us, and we're going to see if they can guess your answers this time. Okay. Get them in order. Though. Is that okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay. We have some really special couples here tonight. We have David and Hope Weinbrenner. Be special, we man. have Neil and Jackie Lanham. And we have a Charlie and Sandra Walls here with us this evening. And I'd like to thank all of our couples again for coming out uh, and sharing their time with us for Valentine's Day. And uh, I hope you've all had as much fun as I have. Yeah, it's been great. It's yeah. been yeah. great. So the, 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 the divorce lawyer is going to kill us. <laughs> it's going to be really great after this round. Okay. Now, now so far, Greg Goatley here. so far we have a score of 10. I'm not going to tell you who has the 10. Thank and then 15 you. and then 25. So we're going to work on these scores a little bit because these guys are a little antsy over the break. And um, while we were... Antsy, we were fine. It was the questions that were... <laughs> They had some really good answers to these questions this time, and I'm sure that you'll match them all. I'm sure that this will work out for you, Dave. Uh, <laughs> it's better. It's all better. better. All your answers are right. Hope you will be wrong. Right. We're going to start with number one. Number one, what is your mother-in-law's maiden name? That's what we asked the guys, what their mother-in-law's maiden names are. Okay, Hope. I copied off here. So we want my mother's maiden name. Uh-huh. Thompson. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Dave got one. Congratulations. Okay. Hope. Copy it off of David. <laughs> this would be easy for the two of them. Thompson. <laughs> <They're sisters. laughs> okay, Sandra. You, you put something. You use my Thompson. Put Thompson. <laughs> <laughs> no, my right. And heal. And heal. Okay. Uh, wow. Each. Okay, each couple got it correct this time. Each couple got that correct, so that's five points for each of you. Sure, this is getting right Okay, now. number two. Now I want you girls to listen carefully for this one. Okay. I asked these guys, where were you when you first said, I love you to your spouse? <laughs> and you will not believe the answers they gave me. <coughs> Some of them we couldn't even let go of the air. forgot so. it just the other day. Anyway, think about it real quick, Sandra. Okay. Where was the first place uh -huh. that he said, I love you? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, hell. <laughs> <laughs> Betty Logston's house. Uh. <laughs> and Charlie said. I said, uh, in a 65 Mustang. <laughs> That was close. That was close. It was in close. her driveway. <laughs> okay. hey, you should visit Big Lobster's house. Right? Oh, that's before you could drive. <laughs> I, I didn't know you that long. That was the first time I met you. Oh, well, love at first sight. Oh, you know. Let me get wired back up. Okay. Here we go, Jackie. At my house. I couldn't think of anything. <laughs> Chee Chee's. How nice. Oh, nice. Okay. Come I on. know that, but I had Okay. To wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. David is looking for Come on. a correct answer. He's looking for a match here, Hope. Okay. You're going to have to help him out. Okay. How about the University of Louisville? Oh. <laughs> How about Strathmore Boulevard? Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah. How about the Rip that's Tavern? <laughs> well, that's technically what about right. <laughs> and he said. That after our first date. And, and, and we went there after our first date. Oh, baloney, David. Uh, I don't believe that. <laughs> I have I no response. That's not true. <laughs> okay. Oh. oh. This one's Jackie's got this be Jackie's first one. Okay. Go, girl. Hey, Jackie. What was <laughs> the last piece of lingerie 
that Neil purchased for you. I thought you said for me. <laughs> <laughs> that Neil purchased for me. I missed that one. Lingerie. Oh. <laughs> Christmas, maybe last year or the year before, oh. he made a trip to Vicky Secrets. Uh oh. And it was a little black something with a, a little robe. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that your is that your final answer, Jackie? <laughs> a little black something. <laughs> a little nighty. Oh, nighty. Oh. Neil, a little nighty. <laughs> no, Neil didn't say a little nighty. <laughs> Neil said panties. <laughs> he said panties. <laughs> that is correct, but I didn't know. If, I guess that is lingerie. <laughs> Okay, Hope. Je Hope will definitely get okay, it. She has got to get this. This has got to be The right. last piece of lingerie that David purchased for you. It would have to be after State Junior Miss three years ago at Victoria's Secret. <laughs> Tell him. He's going to call Tell it a tong. Ah, yeah, right there. Very good. Right there. Oh, but wait a minute, Hope. It's been three years <laughs> what's wrong with this guy i've had a child since then <laughs> well you know yeah, but, but, but still you know <laughs> this uh, one. still you know three three years is a long time for a guy not to have, have bought you uh, and he, th this guy who said he loved oh, he said he loved you and everything and he's still inviting lingerie three years dave you got to make some investments here it's, good, it's an investment when you buy lingerie it it's an investment hey, it was the most expensive piece of lingerie i got Okay. That's for sure. Okay. Well, I'm scared of you. Okay. We're going to go down here on the end to Sandra. Repeat that again. Okay. <laughs> what was the last piece of lingerie that Charlie bought for you? Oh. <laughs> We're going downhill fast. <laughs> it was a red nightgown. I'm on our agree. 25th wedding That's anniversary. That's nightgown. Nightgown. Okay, we got a match. We got a match. That thing's molded now. The moss done eat it up now. It really didn't last long enough. It must have been three years. It's been five years. Oh, David, it's time, dear. It's time. Oh, number four. Number four. We're going to start with Jackie. Where am I? Am I winning yet? Are we winning yet? <laughs> Do we make up any ground? You only get 20 points, don't uh, worry. Uh, you gotta go to Kelsey. Oh, we got one. We got oh, you got two one. right. You're right. Okay. 25 25. Okay, I asked these guys what type of plastic surgery you would like to have. Elective. Elective plastic surgery. That I would like to have. Uh huh. Something, <laughs> something lifted, something she lowered, lifted. something. A tummy tuck. And Neil said, oh, very good, very good. And also he said, please forgive me at the very bottom. Okay, he said, please forgive me. I just want you to know that. So he's, he's sorry. Okay, go ahead, Hope. Come on, Hope. Okay. What type of plastic surgery would you elect to have? Not that you no. need it, but you know, if you no. were, Do I have to just choose no. one thing? If you were shopping around, you know, for something to do. A breast you know. lift. Look at that. Okay. Okay. I think that matches. I think that matches. We're over to Sandra. Charlie, what did yeah. she say? What did I? Are she going to say? Tommy Tuck. Well, I didn't know how to spell it. <laughs> lipo. Lipo. That's about the same thing. Well, no. One's, one's a little more serious than the other, yeah. One's a little more involved. Yes, it is. Well, let me finish. <laughs> okay, here. You've got to miss one. I hate you. We missed two. Okay. <laughs> it's sad. Okay. We'll close the doors, okay. Right? okay. Here's we'll the big together, can't beat him. Right. Is this the bonus? This is the bonus. Oh. Okay. This is the bonus. <laughs> Gosh. Is this oh, the sexy part? Gee. Wow. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, now hold on. Hold on. Charlie's getting Charlie's chomping at the bit down there. <laughs> Sweating. He's getting all excited and everything. Can't wait to eat. <laughs> Just the thought of it gets him all worked up here. Number five. I asked Charlie, what is the sexiest part of your wife's body? And he said, <laughs> My boobs. <laughs> he certainly did. <laughs> Hey, that's all right. 
<laughs> and we asked Neil, what is the sexiest part of your wife's body? I said it'd be easier to say what's not the sexy part. <laughs> okay. Here we go, Jack. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes, I think, yeah, I think I, I think he did say that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I hope y'all all can. <laughs> he said it a lot. <laughs> I don't know about this. I'm just going to guess my butt because I've heard it mentioned before. Okay. <laughs> okay, Neil. We started with that. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. Okay. It was a toss up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, come on, Hopi. Okay. Okay. <coughs> he said, I'm sorry, breast. it said breasts. Neil said breasts. So both we're getting them. there though. Okay. Both okay. Of them. Okay. Both of them. He said yeah. both. He said both. Okay. Hope. I would have to say breast my breasts. Uh, and we have boobs, and that is a match. <laughs> Very good. Why is he a match? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for your answers. The ladies came back and we'll tally up and see just how well they all did. Thank all of our guests for coming out this evening. We had a really good time and we hope that they did too. I'm going to give you our scores, and our scores are the Lanham's 25 points. Not bad, not bad at all. And the Winebringers, 35 points. And our big winners tonight, the Walls family with 50 points. Congratulations. Right. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. Surprise, you can take us all out to eat. Yeah. <laughs> well, I hope you wives learned something about your husbands this evening and vice versa, and I hope Dave will take the opportunity now to go out and buy you some lingerie, Hope, okay? <laughs> Don't encourage him. <laughs> See? I take care of that on my own. Oh, do you? Oh, no, make him do it. Make him do it. Let him have the embarrassment of going into the stores and purchasing okay. it for you, okay? Anyway, I want to wish all of you a very happy Valentine's Day. I hope that uh, all of you ladies get whatever it is that you want, diamonds, pearls, whatever, uh, all that. And, uh, you, yeah, you can get these guys a card, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Again, this is Relatively Speaking, our Valentine's Day edition. I want to thank everybody for being here this evening, and thank you and good night.